Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asim Rand and this is my thoughts on the Chiefs at 49ers. Um, I watched the 40 minutes uh, of the uh, highlights on the NFL Game Pass. And um, yeah, this is basically my thoughts and everything on um, some of the players and how the game overall went and so forth. So um, it might be a long one. It would, it's just my, um, my thoughts on it. And um, yeah, let's get down to it. All right, so here we go. First of all, Trey Lance. I just want to get it out there in the open. He did 5 and 14. Um, he, three passes were dropped, um, which I sort of like, it weren't his fault. I, I would imagine, because um, he weren't playing with the, like the original starters. If you see by this picture, all of them guys were out, like inactive. And I didn't understand why. It was, it, it, it was bizarre. Really, really bizarre. So yeah, if you look at that, I mean, Trent Williams, Alex Mack, Mitchell Mozart, Juice, um, Carl Jusek, Kittle, Mohamed Sanyu, Hurt. I mean, you got Warner, Armstead, Bosa. Well, Bosa, yeah, we knew. Mostly Jason Vern, K Kayvon Williams, Jamie Ward. I mean, big names, not in it. And I didn't understand why, but obviously, you know, they're just it's practice, but again, you know, they are doing what they're doing. Um, but yeah, three passes dropped. I mean, to be pretty honest, we learnt nothing from him. Um, we learnt nothing. Uh, absolutely zinch. You know, if you look at the 2019 from his college days, 2020, he didn't do much. I think it was out on COVID or something. But if you look at the 2019, the difference, he had the ball running mobile. There were plenty... Um, I say plenty, there were, what, 25-30% chances where he could have had a chance of running the ball out of the pocket and going for another first and 10. No, he was staying in the pocket and, and stuff like that. He stayed in the box, he never come out, he got four sacks. Four sacks. It was, it, it, it was mesmerising. I thought, what is going on? How has he got four sacks? And then, of course, I forgot to say, I've watched all the interviews. With uh, Lance Shanahan, I mean Shanahan, uh, you know, if he gets it, he gets it, sort of thing. Like, what are you doing? You you're hurting your guy. That's your future franchise quarterback, and you're hurting him four times. It's been sacked. Like, what are you doing? Come on, man. What are you doing? But yeah, that was you know f sacked four times. I, I didn't see him come out the box. I mean. You could argue receivers weren't open enough, but then that's that. Um, he did really good with that 80-yard pass to Trent. Is it Sheffield? That was amazing. I thought that was a fair play. That was amazing. That was a good touchdown. Good throw, good touchdown. I like that play. As I'm guessing all you 49ers lovers out there did. That was an amazing thing to see. He's got um, a great arm as well. Really, really good arm. Um Moves well. It's just a shame he wouldn't come out the box. But then again, who's your coach? You listen to your coach, didn't you? Shanahan, you know. Well, that's Shanahan for you. I don't understand why he didn't let him do him. You do you. You go out there and you do you. I'll give you what I can from here. But if you feel like doing something else, do it. That's what I would have said. Man, I, I, I didn't understand. Um, I mean, it, it was a good debut. It was a good debut, but not the greatest. It could have been better. Um, but yeah, you know, first practice and all. I don't understand. I mean, me personally, practices is where the regular seasons are going in. So you don't want to be mucking around. Because you're mucking around. And you go into the regular season against the Lions. You know. I still ain't seen all the scores uh, scores or nothing yet. Because I've got the Tuesday roundup as well. That I'm going to do um, Tuesday night. But yeah, I don't understand what's going on. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it felt like a, um, a wasted day. It was literally watching either Jimmy G, or, not even that, or even watching, I don't know, CJ Befford, maybe. I mean, it's just sitting there. Nick Mullins, maybe. I mean, you know what I mean? Sitting there, he had, ple they had a few chances to come out of the pocket and he didn't. Why? Because your coach told you, don't do it. He must have done. Carl Shanahan must have done. I mean, he was... I mean... I don't know. I saw the Mac... 
I saw the um um not news like a friend uh, showed me one video. I think it was like Matt Jones because he's a Patriots man, and it was moving more like Matt Jones, which is which is bizarrely when you look at it, when you watch Matt Jones on like a vid behind it or something, it, it, it was more like that. It was very very bizarre. Um, but is he a better quarterback than Jimmy G? Yeah, um, I do think he's a better quarterback than Jimmy G. And I was shocked that Jimmy G didn't even get his more time on the field because it looks like they they're trying to trade him off because they're giving interviews about him. Yeah, he's a great quarterback, you know. Yeah, we we, we start with Jimmy G. He's very good looking, very healthy. I can't wait to get him on the field. What a lot of crap! It was on them. What less than what? The first quarter, or well, at least the first quarter, and then bang, here comes Trey Lance. I don't know what's going on about that. Um, but yeah, Trey Lance did way better than Jimmy G, I thought. Way better. And it's good that we've got with him. And Trey Lance, but I think I felt like it was like a wasted day. They could have done better. Um, Trey Lance should have did him, really. I said, listen, like 2019, brilliant. 2020, we didn't really see much of him because I think he had COVID or he was out or something. And bang, here you are. You do you. Let's see what you're up against. Can you do it? I would have just let him go out and do what you do him. But the way that Shanahan put it in that poxy bleeding um, interview, that crap interview, and I was going to get a few hits and we'll see if he's ready, blah, blah, blah. Fuck, are you putting me out there? You did that. You're talking to the bloke. Do this, do that. He stayed in the pocket. He could have done easy a few runs. Easy. <laughs> But there's Shanahan for you. Yet again, Shanahan. Let's move on to him. All right, moving on to this guy. Carl Shanahan, like I said. Why did you use Trey Lance like that? Stick him in that pocket. Did nothing. Why did you do it? I don't understand. If, you, you know, if you're trying to fool the other teams, it's the weakest fooling I've ever seen. I thought Justin Fields, the way that, like, I was telling my friends, don't tell me about any, like, of the uh, the scores or anything, but I said to him out of just curiosity, "What do you think was the team you know to watch through like the quarterbacks?" He said, "My mate said Justin Fields, but I don't know. You know, he said it was really, really good of what he did, but he he didn't give me the scores. I didn't want to know about the scores. I still don't know about the scores because I have to do the Tuesday roundup video. But he said it was really, really, really good. Uh, moving about a lot, in and out, it was great." And that's what we wanted to see with Trey Lance. Shanahan, what are you doing? Seriously. I I, I didn't understand. Um, it was just mad. It's like you're creating, you created a game plan. A game plan. Uh, a game plan for Matt Jones. Or Jimmy Garoppolo. They ain't going to be like, he ain't going to be like a Jimmy G or a Garoppolo. He's going to move. He's going to get out there. Moving around in and out that pocket. He'd be out that pocket. Straight out. Fly boy. Go. It was crazy. I mean. It, it was so weird. The way that they played him. To sit in his ass In that court, in that pocket. I mean it was weird. It was like. Are you in? With Trey Lance? Like do you trust him? Are you giving it all this crap and rubbish about. Well, technically, well, the way with the draft, they still could have got Matt Jones. Easy. They still could have had their Matt Jones if they wanted to, but they didn't. They went with Trey Lance. But are you all in, Shanahan, with Trey Lance? Like, what's going on, man? I mean, did you really want Trey Lance? Like I said, I know it's stupid, but the way that they played him on that first, um, the first game, it was crap. It was awful. I thought, what are you doing, man? It needs to be out. It needs to be ready. Get your ass moving in and out, side to side. It, it, it was so weird. I mean, sorry, I got a cold as well. I'm sniffing all the time. I mean, these might be practices to me, right? These might be practices. But if you've got this in the regular season, mate, you're stuffed. I can I can honestly say to you, we're stuffed. If he's going to move like a Jimmy G in that pocket, well, uh, mate, I'm telling you, I don't think it could be a, reg a good regular season. But maybe, maybe he's just doing it to fool, maybe he's doing it to fool the others. 
to stay in that pocket, you know, or play around a bit. But to get sacked by, like, to sack your boy, your future man, who's on a four or five year contract, to, to get sacked four times, that's weak. I don't know why you'd l- allow that, but still. Uh, either way, I didn't understand what Shanahan was doing, even for the interview, it was weird. It's like, it was just, you know, the way that the, the interview sounded was, yeah, look, listen, we're just going to beat our boy up for a little bit. See what he can handle through the people, and that's it. Man, it was just so stupid. Really, 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 really stupid. Right, I'm going to move on to another bloke. All right, so let's move on to this guy, Jimmy G. Supposedly, through the interviews, this man is going. Um, listen, he's, he's great in the field. It's the greatest I've seen him. Very healthy. Best healthy person I've ever seen. Just like two years ago. It's the best. Oh, love it. Saying Shanahan. He threw three passes uh, on the line. I think, uh, yeah, he threw three passes uh, and on the line of scrimmage. I mean, I don't know what that was all about. That was weird. I mean, if you're going to try and sell this guy off, forget about it. You ain't going to trade him. No one's going to ha- I-, I can't see anyone having him. He didn't play good. No way. He did not play good whatsoever. I mean, I was really, really, really shocked. Um, you know, because if they're looking to trade for him, you want him out. Go on, get ready. Get your ass in gear. Let's go, boy. Bloody hell. It, it was crap. It was, it, it was weak. And I can see why they got him off early. Because if you're going to trade this guy, and he's playing like that, it was all, it, it was weird. And then they benched, like I said, all the decent starters. All them players inactive. You benched, your, like, the decent team. You play with these backups. It was weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of the backups were great. Can't lie. Some of the backups were great. Um, it was very, very good. On uh, some of them. But uh, I, I didn't understand why they benched like, two thirds of your great first starter players. It was bizarre. Really bizarre. I can't see him. I mean, if he's playing like that, I, I can't see him playing week one. I can see Trey Lance. And maybe Josh Ro- Rosson. I hope they get Josh Rosson in as well. I can't lie. Yes, all right. He's not a, the greatest quarterback of all time. And he, he won't be. Um, but if you bench Jimmy, I mean, I do. But I mean, I know it sounds crap. But if Trey Lance is playing like that, of what he was, that's not good. Put it this way. You can kiss the season up the arse. If he's playing like that on week one. Uh, sorry, for at these preseason games, and then we're going into week one. Forget it, man. They need to just get rid of Jimmy G and put Josh Rosson in if you're going to be like that. Because Jimmy G one is one is good. If you want it in order of the three quarterbacks, I mean, Jimmy G, Josh Rosson, Trey Lance. Fact, and I'll stick by that. Sorry, fucking cold. Yeah, I'll stick by that because it was just weird to see Jimmy G never. Like, uh, it was a waste of time in being there. Honestly, it was so bizarre, really, really bizarre. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing much we could say to about Jimmy G. Garoppolo, I didn't. Pl- I mean, yeah, he's probably healthy. But how can Carl Shanahan once again get on a mic and go, hey, "Listen, he's he's like he's the best I've seen him two years ago." So why didn't you just? Why did you fucking get rid of him quicker? Of the first, of, it was like the first quarter of like the early se- of the second quarter. Oh yeah, because he ain't playing great, and you've got all these teams watching him to get rid of him. They ain't gonna have him. I can't see it. I think he'll be with us until the contract's in, gone. And that's it. Free agent. Off you go. Bye bye. If you're gonna keep playing him like that, like I said, there's nothing really more you can get out this guy. Honestly, uh, there's nothing more I can say about him. Honestly, uh, there's nothing more I can say about him. Like I said, Josh Rosson did a little bit better than him. Speaking of which. Josh Rose, Rosen, Rosen, I call him Rosen, sorry, I forgot his name wrong, I get a lot of names wrong, that's, my, that's how I pronounce things, but yeah, Josh, um, played well, uh, played very well, but could be really, he played very well, but could be better, nearly had a few interceptions, Sammy did have a few interceptions, alright, he got sacked twice, didn't he, two, three times? 
I think it was like less either way than Trey Lance did. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought he did all right. Maybe if you get him in the the Raiders game, he could get better. And if he gets better, you know, it's a good backup. Something decent, just in case Trey Lance get off. You know, Trey Lance goes to shit, and they keep keeping him in the bleeding pocket. And gets sacked all the time. Um, but yeah, I think he did all right overall. Like I said, it, it, it weren't the greatest that we've seen him, but I thought he did very well. Well, he did better than Jimmy G, I, I'll stand by that. Um, but it was the interviews, Morley. Like, when you saw him on like, an interview, if you check it out on YouTube, there's an it? It like Josh, Ross, Josh Rosen, Ross and whatever interview. Man, he looked depressed. I don't think he's ever done, like, a proper interview in his life. You know? I, I think someone asked or something, like, could you do better, or could you, like, how was it, and so I was like... Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, yeah, we, you know, we, we, we're getting better. We, you know, man, be happy or something. Be happy. Talk a bit louder. Let's go. Yeah, it could have been great. Could have been better. But I'm learning, getting in there. You know, good offensive, good a good defensive team. And I think, we'll, you know, we'll probably do better in the second game. Anything like that. Yeah, well, we'll probably do better. Uh, uh, uh. I, I, I don't know what's going on there. But interview questions, man. Let's go. Um, but rather than that, I think Josh Rosen played well, but could have done really like could have done better. Like I said, a few interceptions. Okay, a few that tapped away and then he got intercepted. That was close calls. But overall, like I said, he did better than Jimmy G. Um, nothing really to say on him. Um, oh, um, yeah, there's nothing really to say about him. Um, moving on, the other players. Um, defense. Offense out of a hundred percent, how did they both go? I would say about 60 40, 70 30, maybe. If I'm pushing it, it wasn't too bad, it was really good. Um, it was mad, really. Um, Ambry Thomas didn't do too bad, I thought he did very well. Hugh Finger, like I said, I can't pronounce his name. H U F A N G A Hugh Finger Hugh Fanger I think it's Hugh Fanger I think he did well for his start yeah I thought he did very well I think it was Hasty that was it Hasty did well Richie James did well nothing major but they they did well for the team Trent Sherfield he did well very good for the pass on the uh, that yard good uh, good touchdown but other than that it, it, it I know it's like the first practice I I understand I'm getting that. But it it weren't, you know. Like I said seventy uh, percent great, thirty percent. Trey Sermon didn't really do much. Uh, Goldblum, I think did better than him. Aaron Banks, um, I don't think he had a good game. I thought, I thought, I think he well, he must have think he played crap. Or thought I thought he played crap, and then he's got an injury. Go figure. That was quick. I was shocked, really shocked. I thought Aaron Banks going hard. Yeah, winning that hard, he's got an injury. Um, but yeah, that's about it with the rest. I mean, the cornerbacks weren't, yeah, the cornerbacks weren't too bad. The rest of them, defense weren't too bad. Offense. Yeah, it was all right. They didn't catch the ball as the best they could, but like I said, it's week one, 16-19. They weren't too bad, but yeah, it can be improved for the next one, and I hope it is, because the rate... Um, the Raiders are a good team as well, so yeah, we'll we'll see into that, guys. And that's about it. That's my thoughts on the game. Um, yeah, that's it. I should be around for the preseason one uh, on the second one against the Raiders. That'll be good. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think of your over. Tell me what you think your thoughts on that game for week one leave your comments down below uh thank you very much for the 40 subscribers really fortunate humble and appreciated if you're new subscribe um i'll be doing more 49ers news 49ers uh games on the pre-seasons i'll be doing my reactions and uh on the regulars i'll be live on youtube for you guys to watch and um yeah that's it um thank you very much for watching uh, and i'll see you guys uh on the next video